What's up, YouTube? Brandon here. Um, today I got a pretty cool upgrade that I added to my camper about a year ago. I'm gonna show you guys a, a little review of it. Um, so most of your campers are gonna come with a lead acid battery. Um, so you're gonna be looking for something that gets a little bit more capacity out of it, kind of charges up a little faster. Um, just a better overall product, I think, for your boondocking situations and all that good stuff. So uh, let's take a look. So here I've got my um, RV lock box. So right now I got 200 amp hour lithium batteries in there. They are a group 27 size battery, which does not fit in your typical battery size box. So um, let's check it out. So the way I installed it, super easy install, all aluminum construction. Um, this thing's been running for about a year now, as you can see, there's no signs of any rust. Um, nice clean still. I keep it covered when I when I drive with it. Um, RV Lockbox doesn't recommend covering it when, with the cover they provide. But what you can do is you can put the cover on it and just put a ratchet strap over here and maybe one around this side, just securing it. I do like to have that water tightness um, when I'm driving and when I'm storing it so to keep it nice and powder coat looking great like it is. Like I said, this is a whole year in, no issues at all. I was able to mount mine quickly with just some self-tapping screws, some aluminum channel I found, or angle I found from Home Depot. Very easy install. Anybody at home can do it. And if you just kind of look back at a side view here, it fits in there perfectly. No problems getting it in there. No problems getting the batteries out. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at the other side. The other side has one of my favorite features about a lockbox. A lot of lockboxes, you can't lock them very well and you worry about your batteries getting stolen. So. As the name says, RV lockbox. So we'll take a look at that here in a sec. All right, so we're here to the, the business side of the box. You'll see here, there's a nice little finger hole for opening it. I did opt for the, the lock that they sell on their site, which is holding up great so far. No issues, no rust, pretty durable, tamper resistant kind of lock. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock it. Show you guys kind of how easy it is to get in and out of the box. Hopefully I get the right key the first time. As you guys know, the campers have hundreds of keys. They just kind of wiggle her a little bit. I'm gonna to have to put the phone down. All right, so I popped the lock, take her off, you know, set her down. One of the cool things about this lock box is, as most of you guys know, you probably have a low weight, say, weight distribution hitch and the cool thing is when you take those bars off, I usually just set them right here um, when I'm at camp. Like I said, I had the cover on it, usually so it kind of protects any oil or anything, any scratching. I just take my bars, set them up there, good to go for camp, out of the way. Pretty easy solution for me. And leave a comment in the description if you have any questions about this box. So this thing comes off nice and easy, super light and easy to remove uh, aluminum. So yeah, one finger, nothing. No other battery box I've seen has that easy opening ability, that lock ability. It's just a good product. I really recommend it. So here's one year in. Um, you can, as you can see, everything's pretty dry. Do have a little corrosion on there, but that's normal. And I'm getting ready to upgrade all this to um, a heavier gauge wire for my uh, inverter system I have on board. Right now I have the original wires that came with the lead acid system and I'm going to be upgrading them just to handle that the higher amp load that my inverter is going to be pushing out but yeah as you can see no issues here no rust box is sat solid I was actually able to use the packaging foam that came with it just to kind of help shim the batteries so they don't bounce around and I've had great luck with this box this thing has been up to Maine from Virginia from Virginia all the way to uh, New Hampshire and also down to uh, Orlando we went to the Margarita Ville out there highly recommend that probably one of the nicest campgrounds I've seen so far but yeah great box highly recommend it um, if you have any questions I, I can definitely help with some materials to put it together they do come with a, um, everything you need to install it I just added the additional back bracket so I can get it flush metal with my frame great product
So that about covers it. Definitely stay tuned. We're gonna show a couple more videos. I'm a big fan of the Alpha Wolf uh, 26 DBHL. Great product. I do have some cool mods that I've done inside this bay here. This is where I keep most of my my uh, upgraded systems for my inverter, my charger. There will be some future videos on just kind of showing the overview. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll definitely put a link in the uh, bottom for the RV lock box. The guys over there are very helpful. I actually ordered it and I had my address wrong and they corrected it for me and made sure I got the product and it came very fast. So if you're thinking about it, definitely pull the trigger. There's another company out there, but I like the lock box um, lock uh, system here and everything was good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned.